Hey guys, it's getting warm. It's about 76 outside and it's also about 76 in the house. I've been using the uh, auto changeover feature on my Honeywell Wi-Fi Vision Pro here lately. It's already switched back and forth to cool a couple of times. Uh, it runs in cool for a day and then the, if the cold front comes through the next morning it might be running in heat. Okay guys, it's fixing to switch over to cool anyway, but I'm going to go ahead and do it for it so we can be a, get an outside, hear it outside here. I'm going to turn my cool set point down to about 74. It should come on here in just a second. There we go. Nice and smooth with that Emerson Sure switch. The compressor sounds totally different starting up like that. Uh, Spring is here, as you can see, the trees are coming out. I've mowed the yard one time. Rose bush is putting out new growth, fixing the bloom right there, see? This is 31 times zoom, guys. Spying on a squirrel. I couldn't even hardly see that with my eyes, but with the camera I can see even good. I'm inside the house and that's probably... I don't know, 75 feet away. That's pretty cool. Guys, I've always wanted an auto changeover thermostat. But I'll tell you, I never could. My favorite one in the whole world is a Honeywell T874. And I tried several different models over the course of the years with my system. So I'd have auto changeover. Most of the time it was this one here. And I just got this up for a prop, guys. This is not connected. Because I don't get along with the cool side of a T874. I wish I could because it's a really nice thermostat. But... The days are gone. Those days are gone. As y'all know, we are now in the uh, digital age. This is a lot better. But I was going to show you a little something I noticed when I started using Auto Changer. I noticed a feature on this uh, new Honeywell Wi-Fi Vision Pro that's very similar to the old analog T874 thermostat. When you turn one of the, like if you turn the heat up, watch the cool. See, I have six degrees set between my set points. It'll actually raise the cooling set point as you raise the heating set point. See, now I gotta turn that back down. And if I were to lower that, keep lowering that, of course the ring would come back on, but it also would lower the cool, the heating set point too. Just like on the the old T874, see as you, there's about four degrees difference between them, or five. And as you raise the heat, it also raised the cooling set point of course to keep the systems from energizing at the same time because these were most of them were auto changeover this particular sub base was a heat pump and even on this old Honeywell T870A it was the same this is this is the predecessor to the T uh, T872 T870 T872 then came the T874 anyway there was on this particular one there's Heat set on 74, cool be on 78, so we've got about 4 degree difference. But I think that I saw a screw in here that you could uh, 
yes you could actually turn that screw right there and put uh, even more degrees between the heat and cool set points like I say this is a T870A 1059 this was an auto changeover thermostat too all it had was heat auto and cool pretty neat now this is another T870A and it is uh, just a cooling only auto cooling off but uh, it doesn't even have a heat lever let's look inside this one I guess it was for a two stage two stage cooling because that's the only lever it has is, two, is a cooling and it turns a moves two mercury mercury switches that look like they are about two degrees apart now this one's a well it's actually a T870E 1030-2 hey this got some interesting stuff on the back cover too how about that I never noticed that before guys and this has been in my collection for a while talking about the cooling anticipators front and rear well, there's two little deals right there front and rear pretty neat hey guys here is an old uh, T872 this is actually a T872D1003 two stage heat two stage cool and it just like the other thermostats I was showing you uh, it also had it was set to where it had a difference between the uh, the set points if you had the heat on 60 you can have a cool any lower than 64 and as you turn one up turn the heat up the cooling set point also goes up there's another interesting feature I think about this thermostat too see those two holes right there I've seen some I don't have any in my collection but there's you could get a uh, spacer to go here where you could actually I think it was for commercial applications where you could actually put a spacer there where they wouldn't be they couldn't go more than like 10 degrees you got I think the most common one was like heat 68 and cool 78 for like a commercial application and that's just, that's as close as you could get those set points you can go back or you can go up but you couldn't go in that range right there at all you know, this is the sub base it wasn't auto changeover but I'm sure they made them there were this just has auto, this has heat off and cool and off is also I guess a reset to re for you, I think before you move the levers on these thermostats, you were supposed to put it to off or reset, so you could reset them and then turn it back to your system. I guess to keep from short cycling compressors and such as that. But uh, right there, on, there was a place for a light bulb there for an indicator. I believe most of the time they use that for emergency heat. Because here's an old T872 Q672 sub base that has a it's a heat was a heat pump and had emergency heat setting, so I guess when you put it to emergency heat, it eliminated this bulb here. That sub base just has a blank place there like that, but I thought that was neat. This is my old uh, carrier heat pump thermostat, T872. I showed this in an earlier video. It was one stage cool and two stage heat. One for heat pump, one for I guess the supplementary or emergency heat. It is a two lever, but the heat lever is broken off of this one. As you can see, it's got the same setup as that other one does. The lever's just broken off there. Okay, guys, that's a pretty good overview of of the uh, auto changeover thermostats over the years. Hope y'all found that interesting. I wanted to show a little bit of my collection because I've been saying I'm going to do that, and I just never do it. But since this came up as a pertinent subject, I thought it'd be a good time to show them. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. I'll do one more uh, zoom test with this camera and I'll be done. Thanks, guys. One more zoom test, guys. I'm seeing a few birds out here. See if I can zoom in on them up there in the tree. I was trying to get that one down in the yard, but he flew up in the tree. There he is, right there. There we go, folks. There it focuses right in on him. Look at that. Guys, that's 80 times zoom right there, and that is a long way off. I cannot even see that with my naked eye. It's got to be with this camera. Pretty neat.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. Over and out.